every generation has a responsibility and a mission to improve things. For me, visiting university campuses is always exciting because it's always a chance to certainly share a message with young people about the relevance of this historic figure, Dr. Martin Luther King, and the historic times in which he lived uh, when we had these dynamic young people playing leadership roles in the nation. What advice do you have for connecting to those people who, who don't see or say that politics don't affect them? Everyone will not choose being an activist, but many people who may not want to be an activist can uh, play a supportive role. And anyone with good sense, passion, and desire can contribute and be a leader and bring about change. We had any number of young people who were involved in civil rights in the Vietnam protest. And as young people, they challenged establishment thinking, they challenged convention and norms, and they changed the trajectory of the nation. Martin Luther King. It's common to think of this great man as simply this powerful orator, this inspirational figure. And he is, and let us never take away from him, all of that. But ladies and gentlemen, he was so much more. So Martin Luther King, in addition to being an orator, in addition to being a strategist, Martin Luther King was an irritant. He was a generational irritant. He was a young man pushing against the conventions of the time. I think college students should recognize that fighting for, working for, sometimes being activists and protesters for change is a time-honored American tradition. You see, originally, the 1964 Civil Rights Act had a section or a provision in it which would have given voting rights and voting rights protections to African Americans. Johnson, in his ability to bring a recalcitrant Congress along with the Civil Rights Act of 64, agreed with the deletion of the voting rights provisions the Selma confrontation on the Edmund Pettus Bridge flashed across the screens of American television sets. Johnson, resistant to the idea, saying to King, wait, 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 relented, and the 1965 Voting Rights Act was passed. What are ways that we can help our communities? I think the most important thing is you better never forget where you came from. I think it's important that this generation understand that its voice and its issues are going to define the future of the country. I think Dr. King would, would also lift up the primacy of a generation's responsibility to not only work for the betterment of their generation, but to work for the betterment of their children. If America re-embraces the vision of an America where children from any race in any background, in any creed, will and can join together with children of any other race, background, and creed to transform this nation into a 21st century citadel of freedom and justice for all, then we will have fulfilled his work and completed his vision. A production of the University of Rochester. Please visit us online and subscribe to our channel for more videos.